गिवन क्वेश्चन इन ए स्प्रिंग मास डैम्प्ड सिस्टम एम इज इक्वल टू टेन किलोग्राम के इज इक्वल टू सिक्सटीन किलो न्यूटन पर मीटर एंड सी इज इक्वल टू सिक्सटीन हंड्रेड न्यूटन सेकंड पर मीटर द मास इज डिस्प्लेस्ड जीरो पॉइंट वन मीटर एंड रिलीज विथ ए वेलॉसिटी ऑफ टू मीटर पर सेकंड इन द डायरेक्शन ऑफ रिटर्न मोशन फाइंड फर्स्ट नैचुरल फ्रिक्वेंसी सेकंड डैम्पिंग फैक्टर थर्ड डिस्प्लेसमेंट आफ्टर वन बाय हंड्रेड सेकंड let us understand given data with the help of diagram this is the spring mass and dashboard system spring is having stiffness k is equal to 16 kilo newton per meter but standard unit is newton so we can say that k is equal to 16 into 10 raised to 3 newton per meter this dashboard is having damping coefficient c is equal to 1600 newton second per meter mass is equal to 10 kg now initially mass is displaced through a distance of x is equal to 0.1 m so we will consider this mass is displaced in downward direction then the velocity of the mass when this mass is released then its velocity is 2 m per second but in opposite direction so if this displacement is in the downward direction then this velocity x dot is in the upward direction so both are in opposite direction so if we consider this displacement with positive sign then we have to consider this velocity with negative sign so for calculation we have to use this signs now the first question is we have to find out natural frequency so natural frequency omega n is equal to under root of k by m so k we will use this 16 into 10 raised to 3 and m is 10 so answer is 40 radians per second now damping factor so damping factor zeta is damping coefficient divided by critical damping coefficient so c by cc so how to write this critical damping coefficient that is 2 under root km so value of k is no Value of m is also known. So when we calculate this, then zeta is equal to two. Now we will move to the third question. We have to find out displacement at time t is equal to zero point zero one second. Now if we observe the value of zeta, then it is two. That is zeta is greater than one. So the system is known as overdamped system. so how to find out the values of s1 and s2 so we have formula s1 s2 is equal to omega n in bracket minus zeta plus minus under root of zeta square minus 1 so we will put the value of omega n as well as zeta and we will find out the values of s1 and s2 so when we put the value then we will get s1 is equal to so we have to take either plus sign or minus sign so how we can write here s1 that is 40 in bracket minus 2 plus under root of 2 square minus 1 that is 4 minus 1 3 so when we solve this then we will get minus 10.7179 now for s2 we will use minus sign so how we can write this s2 is equal to 40 in bracket minus 2 minus under root of 2 square that is 4 minus 1 3 bracket complete so when we solve this we will get minus 149.282 so in this way we will get these two values that is s1 and s2 now what is the equation of motion so equation of motion in terms of s1 and s2 x is equal to a e raised to s1 t plus b e raised to s2 t now in this case x that is we can find out the value of x at any time t because all these values that is this equation is in terms of a b as well as s1 s2 and time t now if we observe the given condition then it is given that initially the mass is displaced at x is equal to 0.1 so this is the initial condition so we can say that at time t is equal to 0 displacement x is equal to that is this displacement of mass x is equal to 0.1 meter 
and when it is released that the at time t is equal to 0 velocity that is x dot is equal to so we have to use here negative sign x dot is equal to minus 2 meter per second so to find out the unknown values a and b we have three terms time t is equal to 0 displacement x is equal to 0 0.1 meter and velocity x dot is equal to minus 2 meter per second now one thing we have to remember that is this displacement as well as this velocity are the function of time t that is these are the variables with respect to time t now we will write the equation of motion that is x is equal to this in terms of a and b as a equation number 1. Now we will put the given values. When time t is equal to 0 then x is equal to 0 0.1 meter. So in place of t when we put 0 then it will become e raised to 0 and e raised to 0. So e raised to 0 that is equal to 1. So we can write here x is equal to 0 0.1 that is 0 0.1 is equal to a plus b. So this is the equation number 2 and we can also find out the value of a in terms of b. So how to find out the value? So we can write here therefore a is equal to 0 0.1 minus b. So this is the value of a in terms of b. Now we will move to the next. Now we will take x dot that is the velocity. So what is this x dot? x dot is nothing but dx by dt. That is we have to take or we have to differentiate the x with respect to time t that is x dot. So when we differentiate this x that is the equation of motion with respect to time t then we will get x dot. So how to differentiate that is x dot is equal to a into now e raised to this term is in terms of time t. So we have to take coefficient of t. We have to multiply this term with coefficient of t. That is a into e raised to minus 10.71790 t multiplied by minus 10.7179. Here in the same way we have to multiply this term with minus 149.282. So here also we have to write minus 149.282 into b into e raised to minus 149.282 t. So this is the equation in terms of x dot. At time t is equal to 0 x dot that is velocity is minus 2 meter per second because it is in the opposite direction of the displacement. So when we put the values here x dot is minus 2 and time t is equal to 0 then this e raised to 0 and here is also e raised to 0 that means these two terms will become 1. So we will write the remaining terms minus 2 is equal to minus 10.71179 into a minus 149.282b. So this will be the equation number 3. Now from equation number 2 we can write a is equal to 0 0.1 minus b. So when we put these values then we will get the answer that is we will get two unknown terms a is equal to minus 3.6602 into 10 raised to minus 3 and b is 0 0.01366 now we will move to the equation number one we have to find out displacement x at time t is equal to 0 0.01 second so instead of a we will put this term that we have calculated instead of b we can put this term that we have calculated and instead of t we can put 0 0.01 and when we solve this then we will get the value of x and that is equal to minus 2.1827 into 10 raised to minus 4 and unit is meter.